Trials of Mana. Exactly a minute, as always, to get to that point. It's perfect. It's like the perfect buffer before I start talking. And then ruin the entire stream. The party surrenders the Sword of Mana for fairy safety. In order to defeat the eight revived Benevidons, the party sets out for each of the Mana Stones. Yet again. Even though I only went to like three of them originally. Most of them we did not see up close. My power strip is like right next to my foot for some reason. That's uh, unusual. All right, let me just do a sound check here, real quick. Don't keep me waiting. No. On it. What? What's Twitch doing? What the fuck? Okay. For some reason. That's uh, unusual. Okay. I can hear the sound. We're good. So, Angela is level 3, and not the right level 3, apparently, because there's a level 3 where she just destroys shit. Uh, her dar double dark upgrade, as opposed to, I think this is light dark for her? Whatever. This game's not too difficult. But we need the rest of the uh, items to upgrade everyone else. Uh, we have defeated one Benevidon, and we are currently going to the ice one, which is where I got my previously highest viewed clip uh, from the original Seiken in Setsu 3, where I got killed by a fucking knight here. I like how upgrading them just gives them an extra hit in their combo. It, it just works really well. Then you don't have to memorize them, you just can hit one more time. <laughs> no excessive memorization required. Uh, alright, so I have not gone past this statue yet. So I haven't gone down there, and I haven't gone to the right. Nice voice crack there, okay. <laughs> Need some action. I feel like there's something over here, but no. It's just for show. God, I love those frost dragons. They're so cute. Yeah, this sword dude right here. Not that specific one, but in, uh, in the uh, SNES version of this game, there was a part where one of those knights hit me with a spell that hits the entire screen, which thankfully does not exist in this game, and uh, just destroyed all of us immediately. Yeah, that's... I think that was the move. It just obviously works differently in this version. Way. 
Also, like I said, uh, it is kind of jarring to see this going from 60 FPS on the PC version to this 30 FPS Switch version. If I wasn't sharing this game uh, with my brother, because I know he wants to play it, uh, I would have probably gotten the Steam version. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I always go for Switch, just because having it portable is so convenient, even if I never play it portably. The option is there, and that's what matters. How do I get up there? There's like some- there's clearly stuff up there. platform right there. I never noticed it. How did I miss that? Nice. Nice. Yeah, but I, I remember uh, in Seiken and Tetsu 3, this level, this particular area was, was a nightmare to navigate. I saw a chest down there. Luker. Buy a lot of liquor with that Luker. Uh, also, yeah, I did skip streaming yesterday. Um, I was extremely tired and I had a bad day at work, so I was like, I'm gonna just use this night to do other stuff and relax. So I uh, didn't stream. Which is weird because now I don't play video games unless I'm streaming them. And it sucks because there's a lot of games I can't stream that I'm just, like, not making time for anymore. Where are my party members? That'd be nice to have them here. I got all the treasure chests here. I didn't get little cactus though. Where is he? He's probably. A is he like hidden up here? Maybe? There he is. Oh god, how do I get over there? This feels like I'm gonna miss this immediately. Slide right into him. Oh, I got the locator. Forgot I was only one away from that. Uh, cool. I don't know why that happens. That's, that's happened before, though. Prize here. Uh. All right, now it just says little cactus above the uh, treasure chest. What's next? Three times boost the XP, higher chance of good yields from seeds, little cactus ring, and gain the little cactus chain ability. So there's 15 left. Uh, how do we toggle world map? Okay, cool. It tells me exactly how many are in each area. Oh, uh, you know I'm just going to go back and try to get all the ones I missed here, if there are any. After we, uh, chill out the Ice Benevidon. I think I have Duran with the, uh, the armor, or the ice, ice ring or whatever.
frog. It's Fig Moon. I want to see this dancing wand. Uh, pretty good. Again, it's an end game. It's a near end game boss, so that's not going to do too much damage, but it's still pretty neat move. Thank you, Duran. Your magic uh, insight pays off. Dodge rolling in this game is a godsend. Oh my god, guys, hit it! Don't just stand there looking at it. Ah, oh, that didn't count as damage against it. The tail's like a separate thing. This boss is definitely easier than the, uh, the fire Benevidon. So I found that any shortcut uh, automatically targets whoever has the least HP, not just uh, not just uh, the healing spell. Same with uh, the fairy walnut. If you have it set to a shortcut, it's just an auto heal on the uh, whoever needs it most. Proportionately, I guess. How are we supposed to kill all three of these? Or four? Shit. Uh, you guys are lucky I had these items. Ow. 
Oh, eat shit. Nice. Fantastic ender. That's two down. How many are there? Seven or eight? I can't remember. Okay, and then we just auto warp out. Well, without quality armor, it won't matter how good your weapons are. Alright, I have the Night Crest already. Uh, I just unequipped it. Uh, yeah, I still have to buy some weapons here, too. I have a wide variety of weapons for you to purchase. Uh, I could buy one more weapon. I'll probably get it for Duran, or nice. not Duran, Kev, just because uh, he benefits the most from it. Actually, I could probably get the other one now. Actually, I have a wide variety. Oh yeah, I can. Nice. Got no money left, but hey, everyone's got the best uh, gear now possible. You're welcome. Also, let's uh, take that off him and put the Night Crest back on there. Yeah. Oh, it's like skipping the... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I, I was looking at this weird... I don't know what happened there. It's our buddy. I love her. Okay, so there's eight total. I, hate, I love how, like, low quality the world map looks. And yet in the intro, I was like, oh man, this game looks amazing for a Switch game. Alright, let's see. Where am I missing little cactus here? I'm missing one in Mulberry Moors, probably because I haven't gone far enough that way yet. Uh, missing a treasure box and a little cactus in Maya. I'll have to go back there. Two, seven in Ferolia. Oh, I haven't gone to Ferolia yet. Can I even go in there? There's one in Laurent as well that I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten to Vol. Can I even get those treasure chests? Because I can't actually land in there. Maybe in post game I'm allowed to go to those areas. Dara. I haven't been there yet. Wait a minute. Where am I going? Where's Laurent? There it is. So there's a cactus bro in here and uh, a chest apparently I've missed.
Hey, I kind of need to go in there. Uh, hello? How do I do that? <gasps> I'm guessing all these places must open up later. I thought for sure you couldn't, like, go in anywhere that you already weren't allowed to, but... That kind of sucks. We can do this. Uh, Gust Hall. There's one I'm missing in Gust Hall. Poker words. Oh, there was none in there. Okay. Good to know. Missing one in chart. Oh, I haven't been up chart moon tower yet. That's why it's, it's probably up there when I get to that point. So I'm missing one. Yeah, I gotta go to Maya. I'm missing a couple there. I can't believe I'm missing one in, in Gust Hall, though. I wonder how that happened. Gust Hall is... We're here. Well, that's not actually Gust Hall, that's Shimmering Ruins. Let's actually land here and, and look. Take a look. <clears throat> also, I found out resetting your class in this game is not as easy as it sounds. You apparently need an item to do it, and you only get one of them in the main game, and then you get five in the post game. So I mean, if you wanted to reset people's classes, you can't do it more than six times per playthrough, so an average of like twice per character at most. And considering that there's four final classes... Even more, because then there's also the post-game class too, so... The game doesn't really want you to try all of them out, it just wants you to... ...stick with them and change if you absolutely need to. Of this area is. Got the one at the left. Oh, I know where the other one is. Because I just saw, um... I just watched Vindy get it last night, I think. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Oh, wait a minute. Oh shit, I actually have to go here. Oh well, I mean, I'm here, I might as well. We have to operate the 
wind statue somehow. Oh, all the enemies are upgraded. Cool. This is this is a new area. <laughs> All right. Hope you're ready for no music, because that's what we're getting here. No time to celebrate. Let's get moving. I mean, I could just go that way, since I unlocked it. There's really no point in, in going through the whole dungeon again. Siren. They're just higher levels. Ah, I'm tiny. I'm doing no damage at all. Poison, it hurts. Silver Knights. Oh, and mate, those are the ones that killed me in one hit uh, last playthrough. Maybe they relocated them. I feel like I don't want to wait for this uh, screen transition. Oh, I had four points. I'll max that out. I didn't uh, check the, the seed. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll do it after this dungeon. It's no big deal. Alright, what is she aiming for here? What was I building up towards? I think glitter dust. Element decrease damage increased by five percent when using magic of the same element in succession. Based on the let's five, better ice smash, better evil gate, spike freeze. Nah. We get in there. Dangerous. Okay, 
Next here, ready? Oh, they can heal themselves, huh? I didn't notice that. Way. Let's take it out. There's no more damage. Uh oh. <laughs> Barely broke a sweat. There it is. I thought I didn't see that before. I'm going to come this way anyway. Okay. Would help if my B button worked. There we go. Almost there. Uh, silence really gives me time to think. Man, I could go for some sushi. Or Taco Bell. Actually, no, I'm not really in the mood for either of those. T Friday's like my new order day. Like, I order stuff for delivery. Just so I am have some semblance of a normal life now. Um, no clue what I want to get tomorrow, though. I might get something light. Yeah, I think that's the move that killed me in the original version. It's like a screen filling move that just hits everyone for like 500 damage. Okay, I'm just gonna vibrate a bit. Kevin and Angela just straight vibing. <laughs> Definitely noticing a bit of a difficulty increase here. It's less hard, and more that enemies are just taking a lot longer to kill. So they've both maxed out two of their stats now, and Angela is just all over the fucking place. And her cap is also higher than everyone else's. Gotta remember, that's like the first thing I gotta do once I get out of here. Go to Maya, plant that item seed, get the chest and the cactus I'm missing, and uh, upgrade whoever gets the next item. Oh, <laughs> 
still alive? Damn. We don't have to be on guard for now. Kill these two imps first. <laughs> Imps are good for farming, because they are very weak. They go down very quickly. I think we're getting stronger. There's an item here now. Don Guard's ring. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, well, actually, no, that doesn't make sense, because this is the only spot where that happened. I was going to say, maybe where all the mana stones are. Uh, that's where the, uh, the item drops now. He halves wind damage. Yeah, why not? Oh, is this the fight that I'm thinking of? I think it might be. May just be. Look, up there. That's if never done if I ever saw one. How would you know what they look like? You've only seen two, and they were radically different from each other. Yep. Ah, oh, this is the fight. Ah, oh, this is the good one. I wonder if it's different now, in this, in this version. So it actually stays close enough to hit it. One of the big problems with this fight in uh, Seiken and Setsu 3 is that this thing moves so often you didn't have much chance to like wail on it. Kevin has 666 HP. Can't reach with my sword from here. Gotta let it fly past again before we can hit it. Oh, I could tell this is already gonna be a, a nightmare. There we go. Jesus. Alright, I guess when that attack's going on, we have to do something specific. Okay, alright, so what the fuck is going on here? How do I stop that from happening? Uh, oh, this sucks. This actually sucks. Uh, this fight's not good. Why is this happening like this? Am I doing something wrong? Huh. <laughs> 
Or am I not supposed to be doing this fight right now? Yeah, you arrived in time for suffering. I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, this fight is very hard. I made some grave errors here. Terribly. Oh fuck, the thing's attacking. Oh no. Please, Duran, just heal during the cutscene. Okay, you pretty much need to do this right away, otherwise it just destroys you. Why? Oh, I'm not playing it. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay. Using the wrong character. I got so confused there. I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad, but I can't revive Kevin. Kevin's down. Need to do that. Okay, we, we're going to do this. Maybe. Oh, we got it with one hit. Okay, here we go. It's me trying to get up and hit it, and then immediately getting knocked down. Angela, come on, you just went right into it. Oh no, that's one too many. Don't do that. So if you're like right up on the edge, it doesn't hit you. I think that's what's going on here. Whew. 
no cures, no, uh, no revives left, and I still won. That, uh, that was rough. That, that was pretty rough, not gonna lie. Yeah, that was pain. Look at her, she's so cute! Whew, well that's three down. Uh, better go back to Maya now. Uh, unless these have more weapons, unless they like upgrade their weapons, in which case I'll be upset that I just spent a lot of money. Welcome. I have a wide variety of weapons for me no. to your welcome. Okay, we're good. I was very worried. Uh, let's switch this back to the Knight's Crest. We've probably got points here. She's just gonna keep going in because I want her to get glitter dust. Plus, she uses magic as AI anyway, so the higher int, the more she's just gonna wreck shit. Yeah, Mayo Town, Maya, the free the free city of mayonnaise. Again, I didn't pick the uh, dark dark route for Angela, which would apparently have made this game like really easy, because apparently double dark Angela is super broken. <laughs> I'm just kind of going with whatever I get. It doesn't matter to me that much. I just want to. Uh, like I don't know. I don't know what I'm. Come on. I could win this with my eyes closed. Actually, wait a minute. Does beating that like unlock Lawrence so I could go back there and get a little cactus? Because I was told none of them are missable, so I don't know where he'd be over there. Laurent. 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 Just weak enemies. Stop having- just open the country. Stop having it be closed. There's a little cactus in there somewhere. And there's also an item right there. So I have to get in there at some point. They wouldn't close off a collectible to me permanently, would they? Do that, not in a modern game. I like, how, Don't stop now. I like how there's one tree there that has no significance at all. Get going. I'll take you down, Crimson Wizard. Just you wait. All right, so there's a chest and a uh, cactus friend here. I really hope you could go to the other areas that get locked out and other routes because uh, there's th the map shows you that there's chests there, so... Oh, I don't think I ever looked for a little cactus here, because I think that was after I came here. 
that they got activated, and then I don't think I ever came back to look. That's not low cactus. It is a bird, though. I like it. It's a cute bird. It's a good bird. Good friend. There he is. He's up there. Damn it. Ah! Uh, okay. We're almost at three times experience. There's also a chest hidden here somewhere that I haven't gotten. Yeah. There's a treasure box somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Coming aboard? No, I don't need you anymore. Boats are outdated. We don't need them. the area where the, the water gets all weird if I jump at a certain point. Oh, what? How did I miss that? Wow. Well, I used plenty of those before. Actually, I should probably restock on general items at this point. After I blow all my seeds. That's not dirty. Don't read it that way. Another imp ring. So that's just money. Strength serum. Cool, I'll give that to uh, Kevin. And item class. Or class change item. Come on! That's the... St oh... Ah, why would you do that to me? Frickle. Cool, well, I guess I have another Esoterra book to change Angela into an Archmage that she already is. It's the one... I'll say it's the one thing, but then I'll find like 10 other things to complain about about this game. Okay, so no class change for anyone yet. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. You come again. You come again. Oh, good choice. You come again. Oh, good choice. Come again. Uh, a couple wish. Eh, we're actually pretty good on most of these. We get a few more of these. Come again. Sell that imp ring from before. Why do I have six of them? I only need three. Uh, I'll keep all these just because the elemental stuff might help at some point. Oh, for some reason the weapon and the item guy are in the same shop, but the armor guy's in a different shop. All for a walnut. Yeah, too late. Ah, I could use it. I could always use the walnut. Alright, well, where to next? Chart Moon Tower? Uh, I could go there. Mulbear Moors? There's stuff to do over there. Buka shit, we can't go back there. None of the Buka Island stuff is open anymore. I, how do I... I'm so annoyed that there's a thing in Laurent that I can't get.
Ferolia, I can't get any of the uh, chests in there yet. Chart Moon Tower seems like the next best bet. I'm also missing a tre treasure box in Dwarf Tunnel somewhere. Let's head towards Mulbear Moors and see where that takes us. There's also areas on the map that I haven't gone to yet, and that's why they're not showing up there. Like those ruins and the, uh, something whatever woods. With the monostone. I have the strength serum too, I gotta use that. Well, Bear Moors is over here. I could probably finally use that statue to move ahead. Oh, he made us land on the side we couldn't go to before. That's cool, I guess. But there's still, like, a, a thing over here? Up there, I think? That requires a, um... That requires you to activate a statue, and I don't know how to do it. So I've done Earth, so I've done Wind, Fire, and Ice. That means the next one's gonna be Earth, I guess. That's because this is near the um, the gem quarry. Then we have to do light, dark, moon, and uh, wood, which is different from Earth, apparently. Oh, I actually broke it with the regular attack. Rare, but it does happen. They're the only Nekos in the game. Them and Niccolo. Nico, bro. wherever the, that little cactus is. Uh, it's earlier on. It's in the old area. Probably past that statue that I don't know how to undo.
<laughs> I like how that one uh, that one crystal in the background popped out of existence when the camera was panning around. Ow! Valley was near Stone Split Gap the whole time. There's a Benavidon presence nearby. Let's search. Two little cactuses, six treasure boxes. There's a Benavidon presence nearby. Let's search. Yes, I heard you the first time. Needlian. I'm almost the level my team was at when I beat the game the first time. When I beat it, uh, Sigan and Setsu 3, my team was level, uh, 48. So I'm not too far off from that, but I think the levels are done a little differently this time, so... Probably too low at this point. Silence- oh no, shrinking makes you unable to use Clash Strikes. I just realized these, these Needlians are, like, dark. So if the blue ones are Sonic, this is like Shadow. <laughs> Edgehogs. Apparently, um... So apparently, from what I've heard, the post-game, uh, class change is a, um, a single choice. It's a light or dark choice. It does not depend on what class 3 class you have. So essentially, no matter what path you go through, uh, if you do the post-game stuff, you're gonna end up with the same two classes for everyone. So it really doesn't matter if I didn't make Angela Dark Dark, because I'm going to be able to choose whichever class I want once I beat the game. For her, for her final. Ooh, green dragon. I want to pet the dragon. Uh, I should really just hold on to his stuff until I upgrade him. Same with him, honestly. There's no reason for me to put anything in int for, for him, and there's no reason for me to put anything in luck. 20% chance of retaining... Actually, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, that's tempting. But if I do that, I'm not going to make any progress on the uh, higher cap. I'm just gonna hold off, except for, uh, Angela. Because she can use her points. Uh, in int. There we go. Just make her even more broken. So I'm wondering how the final class works. Do I just keep the item, the uh, abilities I already had before, and then just get new ones, or do I get every ability from every class at that point if it all converges? Oh, shiny. Did 
gyms taste good? Or maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't, uh, just one class or two classes. Crystal Gubai. <laughs> Is that my third? Ah, oh, I need one more after this dungeon to get three times experience. It would be nice if it was occasional three times the XP and then also more, um, more common two times the XP. Because it doesn't pop that often, but it's, it's a very nice thing when it does. Why don't you just take a few now? We have no item limit. I'd be down for it if it meant I could afford things quicker. Playing this and also I was listening to music from it earlier today, I really want to play a Fantasy Star game at some point on stream. I might see if I could get Blue Burst running. I mean, I probably can. It's not that system resource. It's it, w it wasn't system intensive back in 2006, so I doubt it's going to be system intensive now. Um, I would love to do Fantasy Star Online because I loved. I never actually finished it, but I did get up to Ultimate in uh, Ultimate difficulty in the original. Come on. Heal. Oh, everyone healed. Shit. Ideally, what I would like to do is have a file with a character already on hard mode so that I can just show everything. Because a lot of the... Uh, I know one of the final bosses in, Blue, in uh, Fantasy Star Online doesn't show up unless, you, uh, unless you're on hard mode. And I really don't want to play through the whole game twice on stream just to show that off. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Blue Burst is the optimal one to choose because it has three. It has all three of the GameCube episodes, or not GameCube, all three of the playable episodes in it. One, two, and then four. We don't talk about three. Three was the card game. It's also weird because episode three takes place like twenty years later, so it's like you have episodes one and two taking place one right after another, then episode four, and then episode three, like twenty years later. <laughs> I see that eyes emoji. Um, it's not the same. It's not what you're thinking it's going to be. Fantasy Star Online is a very, very different game from Fantasy Star, like, generation and old, old school Fantasy Star. And most of the music is not there. Uh, you know what, let's just give it to me. It gives me extra HP. You don't know much about it. It, in terms of gameplay, it actually looks a lot like this, only older and jankier. There's there's gonna be a lot less fluid animations going on, and no voice acting, which I guess is a good or bad thing in some cases. Fantasy store a uh, wine. Also, despite its name, there's not gonna be any online component to it. I am not playing it online. <laughs> I might consider it. If, um... I'll consider it, and if it goes well, uh, I'll stream Fantasy Star Zero at some point, which is another game that I really like in that series. Fantasy Star Portable 2 was another game that I was, like, super into, but I don't think I could stream that because that was a PSP game. I mean, I probably could. It, it, uh, with this computer, it's definitely possible, but... Kinda don't want to go to the trouble of it. Uh... But again, this is all, like, future plans. This isn't anytime soon. At this point, I think I have most of my streams for the rest of the year planned out. 
as weird as it is to say, like, I think I'm gonna be busy until January of next year with streams. That's- and that's even assuming that, like, this whole isolation thing's gonna continue and then I'm gonna keep streaming at night. Cause, uh... Why'd the mu- oh, there we go. It's like, the music stopped. Uh, the next game I'm gonna stream, which should be next week, I don't see this game taking more than another... It's all, like, green stuff. At the rate the world is going, might as well do stuff at home. Yeah. I'll say not having a commute is great. I am going a little crazy, but it's it's manageable. Okay, so that's just... I figured that was going to be poison. Duran tests poison by running straight into it. That's definitely his thing. The next game I'm going to play, which should hopefully be, like, early next week, or mid-next week, will be a Mega Man X Command Mission. I'm skipping right over X8 and just going right to Command Mission because I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so in the mood to play it. Ever since I played X7, I was like, I miss Command Mission. I need to replay that. Ow, ow, poison. Gas clown. Mango man, yeah. Well, I mean... Uh... Oh, he's still poisoned, too. Oh, God. You gotta sit through this. Notice how I rolled, even though I had the shortcut menu open. But yeah, Command Mission. Uh, really fun game. Not a great game, but I love it. Uh, I'll be playing that, hopefully, starting next week. I'm gonna be using the, um... The Dolphin emulator with like an upscaled setting on it. It looks, I've tested it out, it looks really nice. It doesn't look like an HD game, but it looks like what a game on the GameCube should look like if you're looking at it on a modern, like modern. Reached item limit, discarded chocolate, cool. So you just don't even get it. <laughs> I will stream X8, but that'll be at, like, a different time. I don't have that planned right now. It's just gonna be a eventually stream. Like, when I need something quick to fill in a few days or a week or something. I do want to play it, because it's the only X game. Or it's the only Mega Man game in general. Like, the only main one I haven't played now. So not playing it is kind of a travesty. Especially since it's way better than X7, apparently. Ow. What the hell? These enemies could take a pounding. Uh, let me guess, ring? Yep, Land Umber's ring. Halves Earth damage. Look at that tasty purple goop. Yeah, the other way around. I return to. I have to return to collect all the major collectibles. X8 and Command Mission will come down the line at some point. X8 is definitely going to be sometime this year. I, I definitely want to finish it up, so I could then delete commi uh, X Collection Two off my Switch. But um, I just really like. I was going to do it after Trials of Mana, but then I thought, like, man, I really just want to play Command Mission. <laughs> and now that I have it looking nice on my computer, I'm like, I'll do it. Yeah, that'll be the next game I play. So I'm going to be doing that, then in June I'll probably do um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Also I'm going to get Clubhouse games on the Switch, because everyone keeps talking about it, and I'm like, you know what, if other people are going to get it, I'll definitely get it for multiplayer. It sounds like... 
I remember my friends really loved the DS Clubhouse games, so why not? I'm also um, I've been uh, I've been kind of blowing some money lately with that twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand twelve hundred dollars we were all given. Most of us were given. Sorry. Uh, I got myself a higher capacity memory card for my Switch, so I'm um, gonna have a lot more room for games on it that I'll never play. Oh, double EXP, I suppose that noise. Uh, games for the forever backlog, yeah. That's all my Steam library, too. I still have games on Steam that I bought, I think, like, in 2012 that I haven't finished. Rayman Legends is on there. I need to play that at some point. I wanted to stream it. Uh, wait a minute, I'm at the end here. Hold on. Ow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna get to those games eventually. Like, I'm definitely gonna stream Rayman Legends, because I wanted to do that a long time ago before I started streaming regularly, and I never did, because the game wouldn't run properly on my PC. But now I have, like, this Omega PC that could do whatever the hell I want, so... Here's a little cactus. Well, if I find the other one in Mulbear Moors, I'll get the, uh, times three. So that'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> I put the chat box up a few, uh, a few streams ago. I think when I was doing Animal Crossing. I've actually stopped streaming Animal Crossing. I just can't, like... Unless there's something going on, I just can't be entertaining enough with it. Because it's like, I'm just standing there quietly, just doing my routine, and then I stop. And I also haven't played online with anyone yet, like on stream. So I've kind of stopped until uh, something happens in the game that's like worth streaming. Or until I redo my house or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, future lols. I hope you're enjoying my awful Trials of Mana stream. See, everyone's in agreement here. Just remove the gems. Dara wants them, Angelo wants them, and Kevin wants to eat them. So just get rid of them. Uh, let's eat candy, too. And, uh, nut up. But yeah, Command Mission, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, we're not even... We're not there yet, are we? No, we still got another half of the dungeon to go, don't we? Command Mission, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Maybe a Clubhouse game stream if um either someone wants to play with me on stream or if I go on someone else's stream. Uh, I've suggested it to at least one friend of mine, so we'll see. Two friends, actually. Two different people. Um... Mega Man Battle Network 5 is at the end of June. Mr. Driller Drill Land is at the end of June. Folk Tide 3 is going to be in July. At some point this summer, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered and Later Alligator are coming to Switch. And I'll probably stream both of them then. Uh, for the stream anniversary this year, I'm going to be doing Legend of Mana, which is the next one in the series, I guess. This Saturday, I'm going to be doing a fun game that Lols already knows I'm playing. Um, and then next Saturday, I'm probably going to be doing a Beat Mania game, just because I made a promise to someone that I would do that. Fun game, yeah. One would say it's a very cutesy game. 
spike freeze and uh, plus and ten. Wow, you get the upgrade for that like immediately. She's getting there. Glitter dust is almost hers. Judge. Damage to boss monsters increased by 20%. That's pretty cool. And it's a link ability. Actually, that might be worth getting. This is what fights are now. Flashies. Flashes of color everywhere. I'm actually practicing staying up so I can watch that fun game. You keep falling asleep. Oh, no, no, you don't have to... S That's gonna be on Saturday. On Saturday, I stream early. Saturday, what... T I don't know what time it is where you are right now. It's 1.30 here. On Saturday, I'm probably gonna stream, like, right after dinner. So it's probably gonna be, like, 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would honestly stream earlier in the day, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time, so we'll see. I might, I might try to get some other stuff done. There have been a bunch of times where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna stream all day, and then my day starts at like 4 p.m. It also depends on what happens tomorrow night, because tomorrow I might stream later, since it's the weekend. We'll see. So you don't have to, you don't have to, don't, you're not going to have to stay up. It's definitely going to be before midnight, because I also uh, usually watch TV on Saturday nights around midnight. So by this point, I would already be done streaming. Should really be doing that more often. And I shall fall asleep listening to the battle sounds of this game and the eek of Angela. Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh, that was almost really bad. Thanks for coming, I appreciate it. Uh, where am I going here? Ow. 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 Oh, I gotta go up there for the chest. Question mark seed. Yes. No hex given. I can't... S oh, no. I can't see that on, uh... On, uh... Alright, maybe you didn't enter it right. I don't know. I thought emoji showed up on, uh, chat on this, uh, thing. Wait. Yeah, they do. That's weird. It didn't sh that didn't show up. Kid dragons are pretty, uh, pretty difficult. It was supposed to be a modified version with a sombrero. Interesting. I wonder if that doesn't work on Twitch. No, I, it, that, uh, not Twitch. I mean, um, Streamlabs OBS. Hold on. No, it do why doesn't it work? That's weird. Huh. 
I guess those don't show up on stream. I guess they don't they're not formatted for uh for OBS. Yeah, Twitch is confused. No, it's it's I'm using the Streamlabs OBS, which is still pretty new to me. I've been using regular OBS most of the time. But now I have all those fun those fun widgets that I rarely ever get to use. Like this host one of Treaty D. We will never be seeing 741 viewers on the stream. I'll be lucky if I I'll be lucky if I see 7.41 viewers on this stream. Uh okay, cool. Earth time. Eat some dirt. I think I vaguely remember this boss. Well, 49. Oh, no. It's higher level than me. I don't like that. Oh, no. I remember this boss now. Yeah. This is, this is pretty similar to how it worked in the SNES version. Did Nintendo hand boss only in Square Enix form? Oh, come on, really? The second I switch to Angela to do that, that happens. You are not fun, Land Umber. You don't like fun. Oh, I didn't do the one I meant to do. Oh, that's not good. But you know what? I'll just do it twice. Very good. That is a very good damage. Wow, we are destroying this thing. Armor care. Crap. Alright. Phase two. No, don't lock onto it. Stop locking onto the one I can't hit. Game. Fireball, really the move we're supposed to be using here? Yeah. 
Beef up that healing. Oh shit. Uh. Uh oh. What? That was weird. It just like wouldn't swap back to Duran for some reason. Power-up didn't work that time, but it worked the other time. Switching to the wrong characters, and it's very annoying. Are you kidding me? Oh, we have to go do another hand phase. He has no HP left. That is such a load of crap. That is incredibly unfair. You sh that they uh, they. Ah, uh, come! Like this, this, this battle is now five minutes longer than it needs to be. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Can't say I'm too happy with this. I had to fight this boss twice in the uh, in the original version because I didn't save, and that's when I got killed in the ice cavern afterwards when I was trying to reach the uh, ice benevidon. Really? 
We're, we're doing this now. One hit on both of these. Okay, there. Get out of here. Angela, just let me have my moment. That was very frustrating that I had to do a whole extra phase of that fight. For no reason. Whole lot of no reason, Bran. So it's just Bran, I guess. Oh yeah. Four down, four to go. I did the normal elements, now I get to do the fake elements. I'm at, the end, I'm at the end game level. <laughs> if this was taken in Tetsu 3, I'd be done with the game now. I'm about to level up again, too. I have a wide variety of weapons from you to Oh, they, they put more weapons in. Great. Now I gotta spend even more money. I have enough for two of these. have enough for the other one. But that means there's I new armor, too. Of good Thank you, cat. You're welcome. Come again. Have you heard of uh, Peta? Have you, have you heard of Peta in the Jungle of Visions, west of Buka Island? I hear the best equipment is in that city. There's also a stone tablet that tells you Goddess's Prophecy, and even a Monostone Scholar. Peta is a strange place. Why not take a look? In the meantime, do you need anything? Welcome. Without quality armor, it won't matter how good our weapons are. Yeah, we just got like a shitload of new stuff here. Uh... We might just... I might just wait. Happy cat noises. see a chest and a, and a cactus. Uh, let's go to Angela here. There are two more points in int. He was right there the whole time. Occasional three times boost to EXP. Ten more left. And again, the game did the thing where it just made it go away. Just erase it from existence. The mole bears go right back down to level 11 over here. Alright, 
Alright, I'm gonna see if I can do that statue thing now. Still can't. I, I wonder what this is for. I, I'm wondering if the chest is even there, honestly. Or if it's somewhere else that I just missed looking in. missed anything anywhere. Certainly didn't miss the day-night transition. Let me look it up, actually. I want to see how to activate that statue. Cheating. Oh, apparently it's... wait, what? Buy the Nitromite and don't get Gnome. Oh, you can actually skip that and then you get Gnome there, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. I had no idea that was a thing. I might have to try that if I do a New Game Plus. I might try that. Interesting, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, that means there's just a chest here that I'm missing somewhere, then. Fuck. Have to scour. Sure, it wouldn't be over here. That's no, not over here. Oh, there it is. How, how did I not see that? That's weird. I forgot if you're close to a chest, it shows it open. It shows it locked. Okay, 
crates up there. I don't know how I missed that. That's so weird. Oh, that's why, because I kept going up here instead of making a sharp turn there. I don't think I bothered to come over here once. Time to get out of here. It's flammy time. I'll be able to get into Ferolia, will I? I'm still annoyed that there's one cactus on my map that I can't get right now. I really hope there's a way to get back into Laurent where that cactus is. Oh, I'm in it! Oh, but I can't go any further, huh? But gawk and get lost. No, but I want the chests that are inside your area. How do I get them? Also, how do I actually get out of here if I didn't hit... It's really funny because it lands me on the other side of the barrier, but there's no way of getting past it. <laughs> okay, sweet so talk him in. What happened to the babby, by the way? Is he still out in the forest? Come on. I broke the game, yeah. Flammy just destroys Ferolia. Chart Moon Tower. Actually, is there anywhere else I have not gone yet that I missed stuff in? I'm just doing one more sweep here. Uh, Dwarf Cave. I'm missing a uh, Dwarf Tunnel. I'm missing a chest in. Yeah, I think that's the only thing I'm missing right now. Everything else I'm good on except for Laurent and... Oh, wait. Celestial Peak I'm missing a uh, thing, too. I'm missing a chest in Celestial Peak, and that's pretty much it. And then the one in Dwarf Tunnel. And that's just not counting anything I've, I haven't been to. So where's so that special island is over here, I'm guessing, or is it one of these two islands? this island. Jungle of Visions. Haven't been there yet. Wait, where's Celestial Peak? Oh, wait. There we go. It is annoying that that's not there by default.
I have a seed too, I have to remember to plant that and get another erotic novel for, for Angela. Another erotic book or whatever it's called. There's a little cactus. Maybe you can't go back in those areas and those chests are just... You just can't get them in this route. Alright, well that takes care of that. I don't know how I missed that. I was standing in front of this statue at the end of a stream one night. There's no map here for some reason. There is, but there- oh wait, no. What? Okay. There it is. How- again, how did I miss that? Very odd. I also don't understand how I missed chess when I had the tracker the whole time here. Probably up here. This path loops. It loops, zoops all the way up. Red moon horn. Interesting. I wonder what that is. At least that chest was worth coming here for. Uh, it's just a weaker thing for Duran. Not that good. Yeah, it doesn't sound that good. Still, money. This is where we met Flammy. Bizer's there. We have to get down there. I guess the quickest way would be to land at Bizer. Bizer. Oh, I get it, because it's a merchant town and you buy stuff there. Oh. That's the big brain in action. Alright, so I'll get this last chest, uh, do some other stuff, and then I'll probably fight another Benevidon. I don't know if I'll have time to do two more.
Where is any shop here? <clears throat> Welcome. Keep forgetting about these cookies, which honestly aren't that great. I don't think I'd ever have any reason to use them. Maybe post game grinding. Esoterra book. Deals fire damage. Oh, you could actually use it as a weapon, as an item, too. Come again. Alright, I have 11 seeds on hand. Once I get the next uh, little cactus upgrade too, you get um, better drops from the seeds, I think. So it's like another level up, essentially. Radical crown. Opulent incense. That's probably just for money. All right. Moment of truth. Please, not another Angela item. Death Aura. Maybe that's for Kevin? Please let it be for Kevin. Kevin's special item to switch to Fatal Fist class and increases allies' chance of critical hit. Neat. Increases max HP by 5. Let's put that on there. Alright, the, uh, the helm. Or not the helm, it's the circlet. Radical crown, plus 8, plus 6. Nice. HP. Uh, Kevin, actually. Toot's been hurting a lot lately. It's like grown into the gum, so it's kind of like the side of my mouth. So it's not in a very good position. I have to get it removed someday, maybe, if it gets really bad. Sound like Kevin was mocking Duran there. Next! Yeah. I should probably. Oh, I have to go to Sanctuary Mount and upgrade Kevin now. Alright, I'll do that after I get this chest. Drop 
separately in this cramped cavern. That sword I'm wielding, so good looking. Big, flat, sharp. That's a man's sword right there. Again. In plain sight. Weak enemies, but stay focused. Hi, menace. Defeat it quickly and move. Run! Get out of my way before Fire I break ball. you. <gasps> Be over quick. Retreat. Come on. Is it up there? Huh. Fine then. Here no time. This might not have been in as plain sight as I thought. Yeah, I definitely didn't think to go over here. Whack. Leather band. I'm sure that's super useful at this point in the game. Negative six and negative 13. It is not. The first and only time I'll probably ever be using a magic rope in this game. Still, I'm wondering if you can get into the, um, into the two castles that aren't related to your story. get those seven treasures because it's kind of weird that they put the seven treasure thing on both of them on all three of them but you can only go to one per playthrough because it's whatever antagonistic castle you go to so either Altena, Ferolia or um actually no Laurent wait no Navarre wait a minute you can't go to L fucking Laurent you can't go Navarre You can go to Wendell, though. So if I do Reason Hawkeye, do they just get more items? I don't know. Upgrade Kevin, uh, and then we'll see what we'll do after that. Or at least see what his options are. If I don't like it and I like the other one better, I might wait.
me see something while this is loading. Oh yeah, that's weird. So that emo thing isn't even working on Twitch itself. I wonder why. I'm looking at the dashboard and, and the uh, squished and sombrero emotes aren't working. I guess it really is Twitch. armor. Oh, thank you. Ow. Kevmeister. Try to switch your class. So he's already dark, so he can go dark or light from here. I don't have the item to do Fatal Fist, uh, or Light Enlightened. Self-sufficient warrior class. Enlightens can boost their own stats and use their bodies like a weapon. They are perfect as a frontline fighter. A powerhouse warrior class. Fatal Fists are an unbeatable attack class. They can use their class strike Seiryu Strike and cause lots of damage in the area of effect. Ooh. I do like that look. Invincible for 10 seconds at the start of battle, and what's this one? Attack and defense increase by 10% when HP drops to 30% or low. An explosion of electrical energy that deals damage to the area. An explosion of fiery damage that does damage to the area. Suzaku area- oh man, these abilities sound way better for, uh, enlightened, honestly. Gets decently even boosts around the board. This gets a lot more attack and yeah, just a lot more attack and fisting and fist damage. I kind of want to wait until I can get him enlightened. Honestly, that sounds better. I also like I also like the electrical aspect of that. Hmm. I think I might wait. Just because just because the 10 second invincibility sounds way better than the the attack boost cuz he dies way too quickly to use that. What if I try switching Angela's class now? Try to switch your class. You're already the strongest class you can be. Focus on leveling up in order to improve yourself. You can do it. But I want to be a better class. Guess I'm holding on to that wild horror or whatever it's called for now. If I remember, in Seiken Densetsu 3, I had quite a lot of upgrade items by the end of the game. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I also don't know. Yeah, range and 10 second invincibility is just really, really good in my opinion. In my Zypinion. 
I'm sorry. That was terrible. That'll never be a thing, especially since I don't market myself with that name. It's the knockoff of, uh... It's the knockoff of Vinny's, uh... Uh... A pinyot. I happen to respect his opinions quite a bit. Alright, so everyone's just gonna be holding all these points in until I can use them. Recover all allies' HP. Why am I not using this? They're starting to hurt. I don't like that. I'm gonna take some uh, aspirin after we're done streaming and give them a good brushing. Alright, where to next? Got a thing there. Got a thing here. Got a thing here. I think that's the one in the ruins that I didn't go to yet. And where's the other one? Didn't I only beat five, uh, four of them? Wasn't there one, like, here? In Palo Port? I'm almost positive there was. Uh, I think Shimmering Ruins is one of the last areas you go to for this. Wait, actually, what's the third one? Shipping Ruins, Sharpman Tower, and then Wood. Uh, hmm. Yeah, oh, nice ride. Yes, I love Flammy. She's great. Alright, we're gonna do Sharpman Tower. I think that's probably gonna be long enough to fit the rest of the stream. I'm iffy on doing the ruins because that's where my controller broke when I was doing Seiken and Setsu 3. It's where it stopped responding. Speaking of... I was actually, since I got some money to throw around here, I was thinking of getting, um, that, like, 8 bit though SC-19, SP-20+, plus or whatever it is, with, like, the super customizable sticks on it. I don't really need it, but, like, it would be good for games that aren't Switch games, just because then I don't have to resync my, uh, Pro Controller every time I want to play a game on the, uh, PC. Quality armor, it won't matter how good your weapons are. So I could get, uh, Duran. Can get five and, yeah, let's get that. Looks good. This is good quality. Oh, she can only get one item. The rest of hers are all bad. Or worse than what she has. Kevin has two upgrade items, Demon Mask and Indigo Attire, and wow, that Demon Mask is not worth the price. I love how I can equip shields, but I've only run into two in the entire game. We got everything. Come 
him again. Mew. Four treasure boxes, one little cactus missing. Is it over here? Is it outside, maybe? Before I waste time in there, like, searching every nook and cranny for it. No, it's not out here. Always night here. Oh, these are open now. Neat. Mimic? Nope. Item seed. Dangerous. <laughs> gob fiend. That's me. I shove things in with my gob like a fiend. I eat with reckless abandon. Which is probably why my teeth hurt so much. Man, these guys take a lot of hits. Oh, and they summon another enemy, seriously? Chart Moon Tower is too tall. Hmm. Hmm. Think emoji. Leads back down to the room I was just in. Silver Wolf and Grizzle Wolf. I think I've run into like five variations of this enemy now. Six if I count Kevin himself, since he has like the same sprite um, or same uh, model almost. Maybe Griswolds are people from Kingdom Kim's Kingdom Lab Bad. Yeah, I think they are. All of them are beastmen. Some of them choose to be feral, some of them choose to civilize. And some, like the ones in Kevin's Kingdom, uh, are in between. fall from here. That's weird. So it just drops you down a floor. 
I guess that's a quick way out, if needed. Yeah, those doggy sounds are depressing. Eat your heart out, Last of Us 2. Every dog is gonna have a fucking name or whatever. Suzaku Ariel. Oh, that's what I want to give, um, Kevin. You've heard of the Lord of the Rings films, right? Of course. I've never watched them, but I've heard of them. Let's get moving. Oh, I see what the deal is now. All these broken areas means uh, plenty of places for me to fall when I'm not looking. Peter Jackson's system wargs, which is Norse for wolf, be hyenas, even though Middle Earth is based on Europe, and people because because people hate hyenas more than wolves. Uh, I could see that. Actually, didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dolan's ring. Dolan duck. I didn't know he was in this game. Oh, I gotta fall down over there to get that chest, huh? Needs to say, Hyena Wargs did not catch on. Not surprised. Halves moon damage. I'm gonna need that. Okay, we must be at the halfway point. Now I need it. Fake. Yep. I knew there was only one chest left here, so how is that going to be another one? I'm guessing this thing has the question mark seed.
Are Wargs an enemy in any of the Mana games? I bet they are. Maybe, I'm not sure. Gold item seed. Uh, Alright. Alright, I need to make my characters a little more, uh, a little less frugal with the items, honestly. Because I think they're kind of not using them when they should in boss battles. Look, it actually does load the enemies down there. Interesting. This game puts out effort when it wants to. Which, thankfully, is a lot of the time. This game is pretty good. They've shown up in several Final Fantasy games, anyhow. I mean, this is a Square game, so maybe. Dangerous! Yeah, a lot of this, um, a lot of the Square Enix, uh, monsters are lifted directly from D&D. But also, D&D lifts a lot of its monsters from actual mythology, so... It's kinda, you know, coming from every source here. Yeah, some versions are from very different from actual mythology. Yeah, but they're all inspired, so... It's all a matter of, like, what you consider to be just, like, inspired or something different entirely. Yeah, Lick, Lick and, uh, Drow are, uh, old words. Holy healing paladins, not paladins as skilled knights. Yeah. See, like, I never knew what the official meaning of those words, of, like, paladin was. Like, was it a healing knight? A healer? A skilled knight? Someone that's extremely virtuous? Because paladins in D&D are, like, lawful good. They're, they can be douchebaggingly good sometimes. If, if, if a person plays them very poorly. Paladins are knights from Charlemagne's court. Oh, okay. Oh, God, my teeth are killing me. Three hearts, three lines are where the paladins with magic powers came from. Okay. Cool. Regenerating trolls also came from that novel, as did Lawful, Neutral, and Chaotic Dichotomy. Oh, wow. I have to read up on that after the stream's over. But unlike D&D, all the magic creatures like elves, fairies, and trolls and such were on the side against humanity. Oh, so it's like Trials of Mana. Every creature that's not a human in this game is like, yeah, humans suck. We only deal with you because you have fairy with you. You need to defeat the Benabadon of the Moon. Chart Moon 
tower is ours. Yeah, and old myths, the term fey, uh, wasn't just exclusive to fairies. It was like any kind of mystical creature. I got all the treasure. Wait, so what's. There's a treasure box down there. Oh, that's another mimic? Really? How do I get that one? Maybe I just have to roll over to it. Okay, I went through those two rooms. Dark Elf comes from Norse mythology, actually refers to dwarves. Oh, cool. I've been watching the anime Go uh, Gold, uh, Black Clover, and they uh, they follow a lot of D&D tropes in that anime. It's actually kind of surprising. Wait a minute, back door? Wait, no, because I came through here. This little cactus was right there. Never mind. A lot of the time it's done badly. Yeah. Black Clover tells its own story while having the, uh, the tropes pretty well defined. Have you played any games with Lawful, Neutral, and Chaotic? I mean, I've played D&D &D plenty of times. Uh, have I played any video games with that system, though? I don't think so. I mean, no, actually I have. Shin Megami Tensei. Their entire game is revolved around that, only in that it's like... Well, no, actually it is Law, Chaotic, and uh, Neutral. I've played a few of those games. I'm what you call... Uh, experienced Shin Megami. I'm, a, I'm an experienced Devil Summoner. Thank you very much. I need a sip of water. Take medicine. Yeah, I will. I'll take medicine after the stream. I'm all set up water, too. Thankfully, the stream is almost over, so...
Gonna play with it. Our ogre battle tax is over. Was not the recently dark wizard. Oh yeah, you tell me about uh, dark wizard. Those claw marks are not very uh, inviting looking. Wow. Dolan's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like him. Using Evil Gate in the Dark character. I shouldn't be giving chocolate to Kevin, he's a dog, he shouldn't be eating that. Not the lawful neutral mechanic really badly, though it was a very fun indie game. Interesting. Uh, what, uh, why did it handle it so poorly? Why are you two just standing in the blast zone? Half a clip, so I did half my health. Okay, first off in gameplay, Lawful Diurnal ca ca Nocturnal. Wait, really? That determines when you're awake. It would be nice if I had time to at least jump over it, but like every time I'm doing anything, he does it again. You do better at certain times of day. Okay. Oh, this is painful! Dodge roll through it, cool. Right. Here goes. Oh. 
Alright, time to start healing. If I get the... Nope. Not this time. Wait! I have this shit. Oh, it's not that great, but... Uh, okay. Just Onslaught now. Really? Oh, that's bullshit. He stayed stunned for all of two seconds. I'm not happy about that one. I really am not. I gave it my all for that one, and it just let me down. Okay. Now it's time to just not do anything while he hits the ground multiple times. Did a, a lot of stuff like all right. So it did do a lot of stuff like doors with underground, muffle lizard men, chaotic, and oh god, it sounds like a clusterfuck. Yeah, none of the schedule stuff works up, works out, apparently. That's neat. That's interesting. So what was the point of even introducing the chaos, the alignment system, then? I'm not like it. This is actually unfair, because I'm doing jumps, I'm dodge rolling, and nothing matters. It's just like, am I gonna get hit? Maybe, who knows. See, I didn't get hit that time, but... This is painful. This boss is kind of bullshit. Yeah, this boss is really bullshit. Uh, how is he dead again? I just revived him! And now I'm tiny. Angela, oh my god. What? No! Eat a t an entire dick. Holy shit! That was such a load of bullshit! I am not happy about that. There was no way for me to win that. I don't know. I mean, it sounds weird because they, they made the whole system alignment-based and also based around what time they're awake, which is stupid. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. That sounds like it should be two separate uh, systems. Alright. 
You two idiots, what are you doing? Okay, we need to change this to... Yeah, no, simplifying, because good and evil are two separate lines on that alignment chart. I like this boss too, which is why it's annoying me that this fight is such a pain in the ass. Oh wow, that item takes forever to use, huh? Like, it actually takes him a long time to get in the position for that. Okay, here we are with this bullshit already. So does rolling just not work? Is that how this is? a better handle on it this time. Good, he's already doing it again. That's good. Shortcut button held. Are we gonna be doing this now? Is this gonna be the next like 10 minutes of this? Yep. Welcome to the next 10 minutes. Oh, 
fuck, guys? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Is the AI that stupid? Yeah, I'm kind of in uh, agreement with Andrew. Let's fucking quit it. Guys, keep yourselves, like, healed here. Stop relying on me to use the items, and the healing, and the magic. I'm supposed to be focusing on attacking, and you guys are just fucking it up. Kevin, you do it. Really? I... Okay. We're getting another, uh... Another orb going on here. Okay, I think we got this one. We're close. Don't move. She said it. Thank God. That pissed me off, but at least we beat it in two tries. I was more pissed that I died at the end of the fight when I was doing well. One's level 51 now. Nice. I'll tell you what game didn't do the uh, the alignment system very well. Shimigami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. They really wanted that game to be like... Just like... Neutral or neutral, but you're an asshole. Alright, we got warped out, which is fine, but I would rather be in there so I could get that last chest. Welcome. I have a wide variety of weapons. You're welcome. Come again. Nothing new yet. Alright, so I beat four Benevidons this stream. That's pretty good. Let me just get that last uh, chest and I'll wrap it up. So if you disobey the order, it's be it's better because um. Wait, why would slaughtering the townsfolk be lawful though? That's not really lawful. I don't have time for this. Stop. Stop. Yeah. This will be faster if we fight together. No time. Oh, I just have to jump, I think. So it's order from the Duke, you were to frame the enemy for it, and thus make it easier to unite everyone. Oh, so that's okay, so it's lawful evil. That's pretty good. That's a good way of seeing it. There's no good or evil alignment. Yeah, but it's it's definitely meant to be like the evil alignment. Okay, I guess I just jump it. Yep. Turn 
moon tower is too tall. Gold item seed. Actually, can I just escape rope out of here? Sorry, magic rope. This isn't Pokemon. Neutral to Chi by siding against the Duke, then later teaming up with the others for the sake of fixing everything due to an emergency. I see. That's cool. Shit. Alright, let me... I mean, it's already after three, I should probably stop, but you know what? Let's just clear out our inventory and stuff. See, see what we get la- wait, really? I can't- I can land here, but I can't call Flammy out. Okay. What the fuck is this backwards-ass shit? If I can't call Flammy in here, I'm gonna call it now. There's no point in me running all the way back, taking another 20 minutes when it's already 3 a.m. 3 <sighs> Okay. Two on map, huh? I guess the last one is set. Way stronger than we were when we left the sanctuary. <laughs> I feel like I could take on anyone. Can't call Flemmy last area because the tower areas were just inside, which is dumb. Yeah, but I could land there, which is really stupid. I was just like, please tell me I I, I can't just like Call him and leave. Call her and leave. Alright, um, we're gonna see what seeds I got, see if I upgrade, and then I'm gonna stop, because it is 3.10 now, and I need to go to bed, and I need to take medicine, too. My teeth are hurting. Chocolate. Definitely need that. Gold item seeds. Elemental rod. Ooh. Good pull. And this is, please not another esoteric whatever, Prince Tag. Alright. Duran's special item to switch to Liege class recovers all allies' HP. Well, we're not going to use that, obviously. Um, Kevin still needs more HP. Alright, so will we end this on leveling him up? I have spare imp ring too, I gotta sell that. When I get the chance. Full light, or will I go light dark? Thus is the question. I'm assuming the liege is, is light. Oh no, liege is dark. Paladin. Stamina based, highly defensive class. Paladins can learn abilities that aid their allies, they're good for support. Balanced fighting class with good attack and defense. Lieges can also use healing magic to protect their allies and increase the party's survival rate. That sounds exactly the same as Paladin. 
except without the defense. Locked abilities, protective light, de decrease light dark elemental damage by 10%, clash strikes, glint, st glint slash, blast of holy light energy from the blade causes damage to areas in the enemies in the area of attack. Locked ability sanctum, 20% chance of increasing healing magic's effectiveness by 100%. Wow, so double healing. Damaging slash at a magically bound enemy, magic rend. So that kind of stays single target, but mm, that's pretty good. More HP, better attack, less defense, more MP. Wish I would show you the abilities. I'm probably gonna go Liege, honestly. I think that might be the better choice here. Just because of the healing, honestly. It's weird how dark is more healing for him. I might do it. Hold on. Yep, I'm going with dark. I'm not gonna bother waiting for light. That way at least we have two people upgraded. Hopefully I can get Kevin's uh, other item tomorrow. Oh, look at that gold armor. Nice chainmail underneath it, too. I love that sword he has. That's such a cool sword. Clash Strike, Magic Rend, Combo, 4 A's and an X. CS Gauge now maxes out of 400. Two new ability slots, new moves and abilities available in training. Nothing groundbreaking there. Matches the sword, too, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely better. I, d I want the light class for uh, for Kevin, though. What? Oh, I, t I talked to the stat. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, now he just has an extra move at the end of his comp. Like, that's cool. Jumping slash. Alright, uh, what am I putting here? Magic boost all. All allows magic increases by 5% in battle. Recovers 35% more, percent more when healed. I could get that now. I could put 12 points in there. Heal CS boost adds 8% of the CS gauge when healing an ally's HP. It's actually pretty good. Twinkle rain heals ally status effects. Cure is pretty good, but I'm not going to bother sinking points into luck now, honestly. There's no point, unless I want to just get survive. Attack boost all on my as attack increases by 7%. Braver obtained, yeah. Charge attack damage increases by 75%. Wow. Oh, man, these are all really good. I might go for... um. Heal all allies. HP. Oh. You know what? I'm going for that. Having that max, having that uh, widespread heal is really good. And Twinkle Rain is good too. Heals all ally status effects. What do I have equipped right now? Counter? Attack increases for 15% for 30 seconds when receiving damage. Yeah. Decreases MP use. Yeah, that's pretty good. Adds 2% of the CS gauge. Attack increases when using Clash Strike. I like that one. Has that Healing Light Plus. Yeah. Using a healing move on an ally recovers 20% more HP. Status effects time- oh, well, actually, retain. There we go, adds it- yeah, he'll see us boost too. There we go, beefed out. I gotta redo his once I level up- wow, his weapons look really cool, I didn't realize that. That's neat looking. 
Wait, really? You can't equip the, um... The rabbi thing once you've upgraded. Not that it really matters, you don't need it. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Oh, the Angela Rod, yep. Shit. 22, 50... Fi 51! What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god! That's like a f that's like another fifth of her magic power. Oh my god! All right. Cool. Oh, next stream is gonna be fun. Next stream is gonna be very very fun. Also, I got some points for. It. I should spend them now. Uh, glitter dust. Yeah. Do I have better MP boost? No, I don't. HP boost 2. Decreases MP, yeah. Those are probably both good. 20% chance of not using MP. Enigma. Uh, magic armor is probably better, honestly. Yeah, we're broken now. This game is breaking. Breaking hard. It's breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. If only there was a way to just have passive healing, like some ability that doesn't actually proc it automatically. Yeah, so yeah, I think the rest of this game is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> Suffering through that boss was 100% worth it. Double save, just to be, uh, just for tradition. And I think we're done. Yeah, cheese it. Time to cheese. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, as much as I'd like to keep going, it's 3.20 almost, and I should be in bed in, like, the next, like, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, tomorrow night, more of this. Saturday afternoon or evening, uh, probably earlier than this, way earlier than this. Uh, a fun, fun, cute game. And then I'll finish this game next week and move on to Mega Man X Command Mission. Which will also be fun, because I love that game and I've played it before. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Always do. Uh, Y'all take care of yourselves, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Night.